Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to your third Vue.js 2 tutorial. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit more about data and methods. Okay then, so in the last tutorial, we created this data name called Sean, and we output it right here. And we can see that in the browser. And we can output as much data as we want inside this div right here. We can store as much as we want here. So for example, I'm going to create another data property called job and naturally this is going to be ninja so what if i want to output this as well well i can do that i'm just going to come down here create a p tag and i'm going to say job is job right so we can output multiple pieces of data with inside this div right here and in fact i'm just going to change this to a p tag so they both look the same and i'm going to say name okay so we're outputting both of these two here and that's absolutely fine now, I also mentioned we could add methods onto this instance. So we're going to create a method now, and a method is just a function. So this is an object as well, and inside this object, like with data, we can store as many different methods as we want. So first of all, let's give our method a name. We'll call this greet, and what this is going to do is output a greeting to the DOM. So this method is a function, right? And when we're outputting something to the DOM, it's going to return something that can be output to the DOM. So not an object, a string. OK, we're going to return a string. So let's return good morning. OK, so if we save that now and then we want to output the result of that function to the DOM, all we need to do is call that function from with inside this view app div. And the way we do that is by just saying whatever h1 then curly braces again and then the name of the function which is greet and then curly braces because this is how we call functions right in javascript so then that is going to call this function on this instance it's going to return to us this string which will then be output here inside the h1 and if we see it in the browser we can see that cool now we can also pass through parameters inside these functions so say I want to pass through the time of day, right? Say I want to say good afternoon instead of good morning. Well, I can pass that through as a parameter right there. And it's in quotations because this is a string, right? This afternoon. Then I can output this right here. I can say we're going to take a parameter. I want to call this parameter time. We can call this whatever we want, but it makes sense to call it time because it's the time of day, right? So instead of saying good morning, I want to say good and then whatever time of day it is. So we can tack on the time right here that we pass through to this function. So if we save this now, we see good afternoon. And we can change this if we like to good night. And this time it should hopefully say good night. Cool. So that's how we pass through parameters. These don't have to be strings either. They can be numbers if we're doing some kind of calculation in here. OK, it can be whatever you want. So within these functions, we can also access the data with inside this view instance. Now, how would you think we do that? Well, the this keyword refers to this view instance, right? Now, you would think to access the name property, we would have to say this dot data, first of all, because it's within the data property, then dot name. But we don't have to do that. Vue.js takes all of these different properties we have in the data object and it proxies them to the top right up here of the view instance. So we can just say this.name and that's going to give us the name that we store inside here or this.job and that's going to give us the job. So that's pretty cool, right? We can access all of this data with inside this function. So let's say we want to also tack on the name right here of the person onto this return statement. So let's tack on this dot name. So it's going to say good. And then whatever time of day we pass through as a parameter, then the name, which is Sean. So let's save this, check it out in a browser. And now we get good night, Sean, but there's no space between here. So let's just add on a space and then this dot name. This time we get a space. OK, cool. So that's how we create methods and how we can use them in our template. All right. Now, I want to show you one more thing before we stop this video, and that is what happens if we try to access any of these functions or data outside of this div. Now, remember, we said right here, this L property is this view app div. This is what this instance is going to control. 
so anything within inside here now it doesn't control anything outside here so if we try to output say the name here then Vue.js is not going to know what to do with that and we're just going to see this kind of template syntax output to the DOM right so we can't access all of this data and all of these methods outside of this div right here because it only controls this div right so I just wanted to show you what happens if we try and do that just be careful because that's a gotcha for when you first start using Vue.js so anyway there we go that is data and methods in a nutshell we are going to be using them much much more as we go along through this tutorial so don't feel like this is the end of that uh, you're going to dive much deeper into them but in the next tutorial now I want to move on to events